Welcome to Simple Bundles 2.0. In this video, I'll walk through how to create three types of bundles, including a fixed bundle, a multi-pack, and a mix and match bundle. So first you go into your Simple Bundles and Kids app and navigate to your Bundles tab. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on Build Bundle. Since the fixed bundle is relatively simple and it doesn't exceed Shopify's 100 variant or three option limit, um, we're going to create a simple bundle. If you do end up creating a very complex bundle or want to exceed Shopify's variant or option limit, then you can create an infinite options bundle. Because I don't yet have a bundle product created on Shopify yet, I'm going to create one now. But if you already have an existing product, you can select the latter. So we're gonna name our fixed bundle, typical fixed bundle. You can also provide your customers with a discount. And we're going to set our product, our bundle product as active. Then we can go ahead and add our products. So within our bundle, we have the avocado cleanser. We also have the facial mist. And then lastly, we have our dew drops. So we can all add all three products. It looks like everything is done. So we're going to click save and continue. Now you see that the fixed bundle product has been created on Shopify and that there's no image available here because it is a new product. So we're going to go into Shopify and add that image. And if you want to add any other product descriptions here, you can add that as well. And then we're going to go back into our bundles tab. So now you see that our image has been loaded as well as our inventory has been updated. If you want, you can also update the discount. Um, once you do add the discount, you can also update the compare at price so that your customers know that this is a deal that they're getting. You can also edit the quantities for each of the items as well. So we'll save that. And then we can also go then to test the bundle. So we'll go into our Bloom Beauty skincare website and search for our bundle. Now you see that our bundle has been created. When we click add to cart, you can view our cart here. You'll see that our bundle has been added. We'll check out. And here you can see that all of the items have been broken down into its individual components. So this bundle has the avocado berry moisture cleanser, the mist, and the drops. And we're just going to go ahead and check. So once the order has been created, we can go back to our Shopify admin. Now we can see the order that contains our bundle. So our bundle had contained the cleanser, mist, and drops, and they're all accounted for here. If your store charges VAT for all of these individual components, then the VAT will also be applied to each of the components rather than the bundle product itself. Hey Shopify merchants, uh, today we'll go through how to create a multi-pack. So first you go into your bundles tab and then click on build bundle. Because a multi-pack is relatively simple, uh, we'll be using the simple bundles type. If you want to create something a little bit more complex or if your bundle exceeds Shopify's 100 variant or three option limit, then you'll want to use the infinite options bundle. So I'll click on simple bundles. And then we, since we don't have an existing product for our multi-pack, we're going to create a new bundle product. Next, we're going to name our multi-pack. So this one will be called a typical multi-pack. We can also choose to give our multi-pack a discount, for example, 20%. We'll leave that to zero for now. And then we'll also set it to active. Then we'll start adding our products. So in my um, bundle, I want the pomegranate face mask here. And I want to create a four pack, eight pack, and 12 pack for my multi-pack options. So I'm going to click on sell as multi-packs. And here for the option name, I'm going to type in four pack, eight pack, and 12 pack. And I'll adjust the quantities to four, eight, and 12 respectively. So it looks like everything's done except the image isn't there yet. So we'll go ahead and add that later on. Now you can see that the product has been created on Shopify. So we can go click on typical multi-pack here and go straight to the Shopify admin into our products. And we can add our image. Now that our image has been loaded, we'll go back into our simple bundles tab. And we can see now that the image has been loaded in and our inventory has been updated. We can also make further customizations to each of these multi-packs by adjusting the discount. And if we do add a discount, we can also update the bundle compare at price. So we can show our customers um, the deal that they're getting with the multi-pack. As, as the individual items uh, prices fluctuate uh, for any reason, then this price will also update automatically as well. Now that our bundle has been saved, we can go into our store to test our bundle. 
we can search typical multi-pack here. We can see that our multi-pack has now been created with 4, 8, and 12 packs. If we add in the 12 pack to our cart, in the org cart, you can see that it's been added. Go to checkout. And then also see the individual items have been broken down into um, our cart. Now that our order has been created, we can go into our Shopify admin and see that all of the individual items that make up our multi-pack has been added to the order. Hi Shopify merchants, in this video, I'll be walking through how to create a mix and match bundle. So first go to your Simple Bundles and Kids app and navigate to your Bundles tab. There are two ways of creating mix and match bundles. One is using the simple bundles method and the other is the infinite options bundle method. And the difference between these two is if you use the infinite options bundle method, um, you'll be able to exceed Shopify's 100 variant limit or three option limit, as well as create much more complex bundle offerings. So first we'll go through how to create a mix and match bundle using the simple bundles method. Because we don't yet have a bundle product set up, we're going to create a new bundle product. For our first bundle, we'll name this typical mix and match bundle using simple bundle builder. And for the discount, we can set this to anything you'd like, uh, but for now we'll leave it at zero. And then we'll also set our bundle as active. We can now add the products. So within our mix and match bundle, we'll include a uh, glow dewdrops. And then we'll also add in the Rose Hydration Moisturizer with four variants. So now you can see that we have 40 product variants set up. If we were to add more, we could potentially exceed Shopify's 100 variant limit, in which case we would use the Infinite Options Builder instead. On the left-hand side, you can also see a preview of the options that your customers will be able to view on the products page. So now that everything has been set up, um, you can see that the image hasn't been added yet. So we're going to save and continue and go ahead and add the image because this is a new product. Now that the product has been created, we're going to go into Shopify and add in our mix and match image. All right now that our mix and match image has been loaded, we're going to go back into our bundles page. So now you can see that the image has been loaded as well as the inventory has been updated. You can see that the inventory for the bundle corresponds to the number that's available for each of the individual products. For each of these options, you can also further customize them by modifying the discount as well as updating the bundle compare price so that your customers know the deal that they're getting by purchasing the mix and match. Now that we're done creating the bundle, we can go into our website here, Bloom Beauty Skincare, and test out our bundle. So on our products page, you can see that our style and skin type options are now available. For all of the options where there is no more inventory left for that particular product, um, that's crossed out so that you don't oversell. So select green tea and normal, and we'll add that to cart. Here you can see that the bundle has been added to cart and we'll check out. And we'll go ahead and check out. Now that the order has been created, we can go into our orders. And now we can see in this order that the individual components of the bundle has now been added into the order. So here we can see that these two products are part of our mix and match bundle as well as the variants that our customer has selected. Now that we've built our first mix and match bundle using the simple bundles builder, we're going to build our next bundle using the infinite options bundle builder. So in this case, um, we'll want to build a bundle that exceeds Shopify's 100 variant or three option limit. So go ahead and select that. And then we'll also create a new product. For our infinite options bundle, uh, we'll name this a uh, typical mix and match using infinite options builder and we'll also set this as active so on our infinite options builder you can choose to add products without variants or add products with variants in our example today i'll show our bundle containing products with variants so in our bundle we'll include the glow dew drops with 10 variants so we're going to add all of these we'll also add the moisture barrier cleanser with six variants. So you can see as I'm adding all of these products, they're all appearing here. And lastly, I'll add the moisturizer, which has four variants. So here you can see for product number one, I have a single drop down that allows the customer to select all of these variants. For product number two, it actually has two options. 
one for the style and one for the type. And for our third product, we only have one option. So on your left-hand side, you can see a preview of the dropdowns. So because our second product has two options, the customer will also be able to see the two. Now you see that our bundle has been created. The only thing that's missing here is our price. So we'll price that at $150. We'll save that. We can also see that the inventory has been updated as well. Now we can test our bundle by going into the Bloom Beauty Skincare website. And here you can see the bundle that we just created. See that it's priced at $150. I have the option to select all of my variants in each of the options. Where there is no inventory left for that particular product, you'll see that it's been grayed out so that you'll never oversell. Next, we'll add this product to cart. We'll check out. And here you can see all the options that the customer has selected, as well as a breakdown of all of the products that belong to that bundle. And now we'll go ahead and check out. Now that our order has been created, we'll go back into our bundles tab, select orders, and here we can see the order that was just created containing all of the contents of the bundle that the customer had selected. And those are the two ways of building a mix and match bundle using the simple bundles method or the infinite options bundle method. If you need some help selecting which one works best for your scenario, feel free to contact our support team.